Hey everyone, Figma's latest config, the config 2025 just wrapped up. Uh, I was watching it live and they have introduced some really new uh, amazing tools and updates. So I just wanted to quickly share it with you guys. Uh, like you don't have to watch the whole video. This is like a highlights video where I'll show you all the different features covered in just a few minutes. So we'll get started. The first one was something, a new addition to the layouts. So we already have auto layouts, but this just got an upgrade. So now we have something called as grids as a part of auto layout. Uh, you know, grids are uh, everywhere, right? So it's used in mobile apps, websites, and even CSS grids. Uh, are like a standard for web apps. So now uh, auto layout was great, but it wasn't perfect for creating grids, right? So since grids were being used in multiple areas, now Figma has this inbuilt. So it's a part of auto layout. You have a new option or a new dropdown as part of auto layout, which will help you create a grid. And it's a pretty neat feature, right? You have this option to select multiple grids and then you can start adding your content into it. You can create those bento styles very easily. You don't have to create a uh, complex auto layouts for uh, bento grids now. So this is really cool. And now we can create consistent, responsive grid designs. Uh, it's easier than ever, right? So that was the first one and it was part of the Figma design itself. But the rest of the things that I'm going to share now are actually new tools uh, uh, into the Figma's uh, complete library, right? So, so far there was Figma design, there was slides, there was Fig Jam, right? Now uh, they have added uh, four more tools. So the next one to the list is Figma sites. So say hello to Figma sites where you can turn your designs into live websites with literally one click, you can convert your Figma designs that you just created into an actual website, right? So this is like a dream come true for a lot of designers. Obviously there are uh, multiple other tools which do it, but having this right into Figma where you actually design is something really great. So it's pretty easy, right? They show you how easy it is. You copy the design from uh, Figma design into Figma sites then quickly set some responsive sizes for it. You can edit one breakpoint and it magically appears everywhere on your tablet and your mobile breakpoints as well. Or you could do an individual uh, customization as well. And then you can add interactions with the set of preset uh, interactions like hover and uh, stuff like that. And uh, uh, along with that, you can also add, you know, for content heavy websites, they have introduced the CMS functionality where you can add custom code components and, you know, uh, add content right directly uh, into the uh, CMS system. Uh, you know, you can use this for creating blogs and content heavy sites as well. So imagine designing something in Figma and you can add your custom coding as well, which is like, for example, they showed this real time calculator that was created, right? So you design uh, this real time calculator UI on Figma and then it generates the React code for it and then you can add your custom code to it so that uh, you can have uh, things that you can't animate or create uh, logics in Figma, right? So for, uh, for such uh, purposes, this uh, code component comes really handy, which makes instantly like you can have a fully interactive uh, site as well, right? So that was all about Figma sites and uh, I see that it's really cool. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Uh, they'll be rolling out these tools. Uh, I think today itself is what uh, they mentioned but let's see how that uh, happens. So that was Figma sites. Now moving on to the next one, which is Figma make. Now let's talk about something that's really mind blowing, right? So this is a Figma of make and uh, there are a lot of other tools like this as well. There's lovable and uh, stuff which are uh, giving a tough competition. Uh, but uh, you can see this is very similar, uh, but I see this really powerful. Um, uh, you can simply give it a prompt and it's using Claude uh, 3.7, uh, which is a very powerful coding model that they have. And and you just give it a prompt and it turns it into real uh, working prototypes, right? With actual code, which can be directly shipped, right? So that is what they're promising. And in the demo, they use the CD player music app UI. They just uh, gave it as a prompt and an image of the CD player. And they just asked it to make it, uh, make the CD run and uh, make it uh, live, right? So with that, uh, you could see that how this CD player was in action. And along with that, you can see also some other uh, examples that they showed in the config uh, demo, right? So these are some really cool animations that been, that can be created and interactive 3D tools that was created just within Figma, right? All this is happening within Figma's tool itself. You're just giving it a prompt and it's creating these fun 3D games. and even 
even apps that use your device hardware, right? So because you can create the app and deploy it, uh, you can use your device hardware. Like here, you can see that a camera is being used to interact with the UI on the screen. And yes, you can uh, use uh, Figma prompt to create custom code for Figma sites as well. So that will be a really game changer. So not just creating something very blank. Uh, this is like more usable way of implementing AI, right? So in Figma sites, once you come across something like uh, the one that we showed earlier, right? There's a real time calculator. You can just create the UI and prompt Figma make uh, to make this uh, real time calculator workable, right? So all that is really cool. And uh, so let's see how it goes. Uh, they're promising this to be really cool. And uh, I see that it, this is going to be really uh, amazing product and a lot of people are going to use it. So this is being rolled out as free uh, since it's in beta. And once it goes out of beta, this will obviously be a paid feature. So that was all about Figma make. And next one is Figma buzz. So so let's say you're making something uh, for uh, making like a marketing collateral and you need it quick, but there's a lot of content that you want to put in. So Figma Buzz is your next uh, new design buddy, right? So you just uh, pick some branding, branding templates. So probably you're in a marketing team and your design team has given you some templates. All you have to do is just upload a CSV and just connect your CSV columns to each of the content there. And uh, hundreds of these, uh, let's say cards can be created with a single click and uh, all professional and consistent designs because this is using the branded templates that were shared. So this makes your uh, work really easy. So this was just one example. I'm sure there'll be more use cases to this. That was Figma Buzz. And uh, finally, it just closed with a new tool that they released, which is Figma Draw, which is more for, uh, you know, more creative freedom. So this, a uh, lot of people who want more creative freedom in Figma, uh, people who are used to Illustrator and stuff, I think this will uh, really solve a lot of those use cases. So Figma Draw is here it's a powerful new tool set built specifically for illustrators and designers who crave for creative freedom right so some key highlights that were included was what you see right the new path vector tool uh, now vector can be modified very easily you can cut out the path uh, like how you have it in illustrator right and connect and join multiple paths together so all this can be done with this new tool and then there is a repeater tool where you can repeat uh, a set of things and uh, set the path or distance between them you can see how quickly the circle can be repeated and uh, then you have text to path finally so we were using a lot of plugins to do this so there were uh, i remember using a couple of plugins to set the text to the path uh, now it's uh, there uh, within figma itself you can just select a path and add a text to it then there is rich textures that can be added a lot of different textures that you can see can be added to your path uh, and even to your stroke to make it more like a brush stroke a sketch effect and stuff like that and then you have a progressive blur, uh, which can be added uh, to, let's say, a background blur or a layer blur, which is really helpful to create, uh, you know, this kind of a gradient a blur effect and then you have stroke brushes freehand brushes as you can see on the screen these can be used uh, to get that brush effect on your pencil strokes or your uh, pen strokes right so that's also really cool and then you have this dynamic stroke effects which is again adding a kind of a wiggle to make this uh, strokes more uh, you know dynamic in nature and then you have pattern fills which a lot of you might love it uh, you can create your own pattern and just fill it on a uh, fill it as a fill instead of a color or or a gradient you can have a particular path or a pattern that you want to fill in a particular area right so this is going to be really helpful and then you have variable stroke width so this is also really going to be helpful in a lot of use cases or uh, you can set variable widths at different positions you can have different uh, strokes to it and uh, then you can uh, keep adjusting it you don't have to make it a destructive uh, fill or you don't have to convert it to outline to make such things uh, so this will also solve such cases and then you have rotation pivot points so this was also uh, being asked since a long time to rotate something on a pivot point uh, was not possible so far but now you have this pivot points as well so it's never been easier or more fun to sketch and illustrate directly in figma a lot of people have been using figma for creating illustrations and and with these new tools, it's going to unlock a lot more of uh, creativity and freedom in creating in uh, Figma itself. You can start creating illustrations and stuff more easily on Figma now. So yeah, that's it for this quick highlights. Uh, let me know what feature you love the most or what tool that you love the most in all these updates. And also let me know what tool or feature you want me to expand more on. So as soon as I get the update on these features, I'll try to create some examples for you guys. Again, a quick short update, right? As I was editing the video that uh, we just saw, right? Uh, and I 
jumped onto Figma, we already have this update as you can see. Uh, here's what they launched in the config and you can see the five different things that I just uh, highlighted in this video and uh, you have an option to try it out. So all this is already live. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think about these in the comments below.